Hi, this is Andrew Krug, the Global Community Manager for Niantic Labs, and you're listening to the Agent Academy Podcast. Today's podcast is brought to you by Audible. Get a free audiobook download and 30-day free trial at www.audibletrial.com slash agentacademy. Over 180,000 titles to choose from for your iPhone, Android, Kindle or MP3 player. And now, welcome to the Agent Academy. Downloading latest Intel package. Welcome back. I was getting worried about you. Hey, Agent Academy, episode number 7, recorded on December 20th, 2019. I'm Agent Guy. I'm Agent Dewey J. I'm Agent Lady Anthrax. Yay! And today is our Christmas episode, and of course I've changed things and moved things around, which makes everything fun and more difficult. So, uh, Merry Christmas, everyone, and Happy Holidays Merry and all that jazz. Merry Christmas! We got lights and, and foxes and hats. And solo cups. This is for you, Groog. Which is a uh, reference to something that will be in the news, and we'll get to that in a minute. We've got a lot of stuff to cover tonight, which is an event. I that's was going getting on worried right about now. you. Uh oh. Hey, BNMX just played a nice sound for us. Thank you. And uh, we'll be talking about the event that we all should be out participating in right now because we have 30 million uh, things to get. Also, a a new decoding challenge. I don't know if anybody's doing this, but we're going to talk about that, as well as upcoming events, uh, Wayfarer, if anybody's getting their portals submitted, and then uh, Mission Day at C2. That's exciting. And, of course, Passcode. So, before we get to that, let's uh, throw it on over to our blue resistance agent, do we that, would be, that would be me, wouldn't it? Uh, so you want to know what I did this week that I can tell you? Um, yeah, well, um, I was on the road most of the week, uh, so I was in a cell that I'm not usually in, so I figured I would throw some big blue fields over them. Normally and, in a prison cell, right? You know, uh, I can't say. Uh, but yeah, in the cell next door, got to throw a bunch of, a bunch of uh, little fields and... Uh, get a bunch of uh, uniques. So that was kind of nice, getting to places I didn't get to. And uh, we have a couple of our um, agents that came back from college, came back to town, and said, why don't we have a first Saturday? And I said, well, if you want to throw one together. So we got a first Saturday about 10 or 12 miles away from me, which isn't a real good choice, a first Saturday in central Illinois in January. It might be kind of cold, but uh, thanks to some industrious college kids on Christmas vacation, uh, we got one going, and I think we might even have a little Agent Academy swag. Maybe, if I can Fire remember. Word, maybe. maybe, yeah. So, huh? if you're near Effingham, Illinois, on the 4th, uh, come on by and freeze off your fingers and have fun with us drinking or playing, uh, wind trading, yes, that. Um, just uh, working a lot. And I did write a song for my frog friends. Oh. <gasps> A song. A song. Are you going to sing it live at the first time? I I can try it live if you like it. Here we go. I'll have a blue Christmas (laughs) without you. The links of blue are filling the intel. Layers of blue overhead will make sure We're ahead in the score for that blue, 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 blue Christmas. Ta-da. Nice. (laughs) I mean, I hate clapping for that, but I got to. Good singing. (laughs) That's right. like it. It's the only thing I can do. So other than that, uh, just I tried to do a little bit of the challenge today and got totally freaked when my scanner borked. And then it came back and it said, choose a faction. I'm like, oh, choose a faction. <laughs> Go green. They're trying to get you to switch, Dewey J. <laughs> I thought it was Nemesis. I thought Nemesis got into it or something. 
But evidently, that's something that a number of people have seen in this past couple of days, and we'll talk about that. Uh, so, that's me. Uh, Goonie, you want to go next, or what? Yeah, sure. Uh, there's not really much to talk about. I have uh, haven't really been able to do any of the event this week. We'll, we'll get to that in the event stuff. Uh, but uh, I went around today just putting some resonators on some things, and I was like, but then I'm going to want to do this after the event starts. And so I stopped and <laughs> just started playing Harry Potter instead. Waiting for the time to start. And then I had to go pick up my son from school and then come home to uh, my wife's sick and my daughter's sick. And, oh, no. Uh, so it was like getting ready for the show. And then I was like, I will just start tomorrow. So <laughs> have you have you like barricaded yourself in the studio with like towels under the doors, like trying to keep the germs away? Or, like, it's... Yeah, it's like um, I'll go get dinner. And uh, <laughs> so, you know, so no one has to. You know, we don't have to make dinner tonight. And we just lay it outside your door and knock yeah. and run. And then it was just like, it's on the table. Y'all, <laughs> y'all enjoy it. I'll see y'all later. Uh, but good so husband. Good hopefully husband. they'll they'll feel better soon. And hopefully I don't get sick. But that's why that, that'd make for a great Christmas. Everybody's sick. That makes yeah. a great Christmas. It's usually how it goes. <laughs> just put some day cool under the tree. It'll be okay. Or you know, cookies for Santa or something. I don't know. Big old package of Fisherman's Friends. Let <laughs> wow, those things. But besides that, um, work's been really bu- busy this year, and I'm off till after Christmas. So, yeah, yay nice. for that. Um, so I'm gonna play a lot of Ingress this week, and we actually have we have a guest host tonight, Lady Anthrax. Do you want to say hi and tell us about you and your uh, what you did this week? I mean, you don't really have to. Hi, uh, I'm Lady Anthrax. Uh, thank you, thank you for having me. Uh, so I I deployed some portals today. I, I farmed some level one resonators and I went out looking for neutral portals and I just used all my Edo plus mods. Uh, you know, got to start of the challenge. So as far as Ingress goes, that's what I did today. Um, Earlier in the week, you know, I was working. I, I guess I recharged some things. Tessellation. Yes. Okay. Tessellation. tessellation. What about the tessellation? Well, you also did some tessellation stuff. So. Oh, uh, I didn't do some tessellation stuff. There was a tesseray um, near where I live in D.C., but I was not in D.C. I was up uh, visiting Maine. So, you know, I did not do any tessellation stuff, but I watched from afar, and it's, it's pretty cool still to see a tessellation in your hometown. But it sounds like you're going to get to do some hexathlon stuff. I yeah. think I saw DC on the list. Yes, there is. There is a hexathlon in DC. So that'll be interesting. Um, I went to the hexathlon when they in September when they had some. I went to the one in Rhode Island, and that was that was a lot of fun actually. It was like a race against the clock kind of game, and I enjoyed it. I raced against the clock. <laughs> Did you win? Um, I got the purple badge so to the extent you could win the hexathlon i feel pretty good <laughs> you, about didn't, it. you didn't lose you made it a one but you didn't lose the clock didn't win so the that's clock what didn't counts. Win. that's right i beat the clock yeah okay and agent vane oh, how are you doing you. foxy yeah it, it's been it's been pretty busy lately uh in terms of ingress stuff i've just been trying to get out and uh since the last time i was on the show i've actually done two two dead drops so, the episode that I missed... There were live drops. Uh, well, yeah, live drops. <laughs> but, maybe there are some dead drops out there. Hmm. Dun, 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 dun. Dun, dun, dun. But, no, no. So, yeah, right after the last time I was on, we had a uh, <clears throat> DC first Saturday that I attended and did a live drop where I just took some of the swag that crew gets sent out. Uh Packaged that up all nice and neat, and then just ran around deploying beacons like I was a vessel for Nemesis in, in some respect, and, and leaking that swag out into the wild. And agents seem to enjoy that, so I think I'm going to keep it going for a little bit. If anyone is interested in following along with that, I do have a Telegram channel that I'm sharing it to, so I'll drop that in the chat, show notes, different places, and you can follow along. Um, cool. Otherwise, it was out for the Philly Banneruck 
So that was just last Friday. Went out, got in. I think it was you know just a little over what the requirement was. So we did I don't know like six and a half miles somewhere around there. Um, got the banner done. It was raining the whole time. Oh, so. All the phones were in baggies trying to do missions, but I was pleasantly surprised. Uh, if anyone hasn't done missions recently, uh, the last few updates, the stability for missions in Prime is, is gone through the roof, at least in my own experience. So if you haven't missioned lately, give it a shot. Really, that's other than work. Uh, I'm getting swamped there. But I uh, got out today, did a little bit of the challenge. I got the first tier unlocked. But uh, we'll get into that oh, later. Nice. Yeah. nice, nice. Well, and, you know, I forgot to mention, besides just actually playing Ingress, I did get to do some Ingress stuff, which was work on the Agent Academy website and the Twitch channel. So now they, they've added something new called Academy Points. So the longer you watch the channel, the more points you get. Yay. And so you can do stuff like that. Like I just made a message and highlighted it. Uh, but we'll add things Ooh. to that, so it 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 costs nothing to oh. anyone. Just watching the show uh, gets you free points, and then sooner or later you can uh, purchase things with them. Uh, subscribers cool. do get double the points for watching, so there is incentive there. And then on the website, um, so there's this bug in our software that keeps resetting some links, and so like every once in a while you'll go there and like the site's some pages don't work, which isn't good for a website because that's the whole yeah. point of it. Yeah, but it's just like Niantic. I mean, you got to admit, it's, you know. <laughs> so Nemesis is messing with Nemesis. It. We're going to blame it on that. So I've been digging into that, trying to figure out exactly what it is. And so this week off, I'll be able to work on that. So digging it. <laughs> hopefully we got we'll faith in it. He'll fix it, buddy. Time. Yeah. Well, I'm glad you have faith because we'll that's do that. It. And I'll try to. I've got a bunch of stuff to mail out, including your swag or swag I, for the FS event. Yeah. If I get it, maybe I'll just throw it out the windows as I travel. I have <laughs> a little bit of traveling. Swag so jackpot. Do just, just don't do that on a highway. Like I don't. I don't think it'll be the same. I don't think that's a good thing. Like I don't think people are going to stop their cars for that. But. I don't know. Maybe you'll be surprised. Maybe maybe an Axis shield. <laughs> Those cars did say Axis. <laughs> yeah. Someone might stop for that one. Yeah, I, I might. I think I might as well. Yeah. <laughs> oh God! I stopped for the the axe, and all I got was this dead body on the side of the road. <laughs> oh, no, no. Would be Not bad. Our fault. So Not our fault. Let's go with the news then. Speaking of dead bodies on the side of the road, Andrew no, Krug no. is leaving Niantic. Oh, he's not dead yet, yeah. RGN. That's right. So he's not he's not gone till the end of the year, the end of the month, mm -hmm. um, and hopefully he goes on to something he in, he enjoys. And and I don't do we know what that is? Do we know what he's doing? Anyone? Bueller, Bueller, Bueller. something he enjoys, like you said. He's going to be missed. I mean, he really running, is running for president in twenty twenty. <laughs> hey, now, he's probably in with all those guys. There's so that, many of them. That might be because. <laughs> And he is is going to be. Uh, I feel greatly missed. I'm going to miss him. I think yeah. he's done a lot for the community, getting things rolling, and I worry that some of that stuff won't um, last without him there to kind of push it through. Like, are, are we worried about the vanguards at all? Is that kind no. of one of his initiatives? No. So I, I I think you know everybody was concerned initially, you know myself included that. The, the vanguards were Andrew's creation, and a lot of people definitely were concerned that if Andrew was leaving, what would that mean for that avenue of communication? Would it stay? Would it go? And I am happy to you know say currently we are trying to open more communication with Niantic, and I think that's about as far as I can get into things, but that won't be going away anytime soon. Yep. Well, that's good to hear. But yeah, no. AMA's probably gone. Can we assume that, at least for now? I would hope. They, they get picked back up in, in some respect. But, yeah, I think it's – we don't really know yet what's going to happen on that front. Do they have somebody they're going to replace them with? Or do they know? Well, the, and that's what I'm wondering. A few months ago, I think they had a job opening for community manager. Um, and I thought it was for uh, the North American – 
area. I may be wrong about that. But I almost assumed it was like a, a counterpoint, so maybe they could have a resistance and an uh, enlightened agent. Though That'd it's, be it's, nice! It's, <laughs> it's kind of one of the th- things is when you, if you didn't know Andrew was enlightened, you wouldn't, no, you wouldn't know, know he was no. enlightened. No, he's he's probably the least factional that I've seen of of players that are dedicated to playing. Um, so, yeah, I would, I would say I would say he's definitely a teal player. He's teal, absolutely. And if if you if you took the time to read his farewell post, or if you haven't taken the time to read his farewell post, I would read encourage it. everybody. It's on the community forums, I believe, just in the general section. Uh, just farewell agents. And Made me cry. Right in there, you know, he, he does go in to say that he always wanted the community to know him as, as Andrew, the global community manager, not Andrew, the enlightened agent. So, And, and we're, I'm wearing a mourning hat for him, in case you don't understand. It's, it's Red Solo Cup. That's right. Drink, so, drink to you, Krug. Here's, here's, here's to you, Krug. It's not a Red Solo Cup. No, it's just mugs. <laughs> Frogs get it wrong. I got it right. You got it. Okay. Frog. I got All it right. right. Reusable cups, man. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. I'm not echo friendly. I'm sorry. So that'll be interesting to see what happens. If if yeah. there's a new community manager or if Brian Rose just kind of does some of that. Yeah. Which seems like he's he's kind of been taking up some of that role uh, with some of the announcements. But... I just don't know with all the, you know, with a, a lot of the anomalies, you know, that was one of the things, and we'll get to this in a minute about the um, the events, but, you know, they specifically mentioned in there, uh, basically, th- they don't need any more POCs for the anomalies or mm-hmm. something. Um, so, we'll get to that in a second. Um, scanners getting borked? Yep. What's this about? <laughs> It scared the crap out of me today. Uh, I I also got my first tier on on the challenge, and I was like, okay, I'm gonna pull over and go take a picture of it. And it's like, well, hey, look, it's saying that I can put in a new avatar. And I put in a new avatar just as soon as I did. Scanner just went nuts. You know, it's saying, you know, pick yeah, a faction, yeah, and this ugh. is when you. It was just it was just bad timing. Is what it was because, yeah. but uh, basically, what I did, uh, I guess a number of people are doing is when it just kind of goes nuts like that, just. Shut it down. You may need to move a little bit, wait a little bit, fire it back up. So I think it took me five minutes to get it back on. And I was surprised because, really, I was thinking the scanner has been really good uh, yeah, for the last was, month or so. It was very quick. The Like, as soon as everything started kind of going down, like, I mean, the event went live, and I think the first 15 to 20 minutes, there was widespread reports that agents couldn't deploy R1s. Um, so whatever they had to do to try to fix that, I think caused some of the secondary scanner issues that we were seeing, but mm-hmm. it was like an explosion of chats. Everybody saying, <laughs> my scanner, my scanner, I'm scanner going down, down. 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 And then as soon as people started forwarding their screenshots and you, you better believe all of the vanguards were immediately like chaos. <laughs> uh, by the time we got to that stage, it seemed that things were returning back to normal. So yeah. it, it seemed that like, Sure, restarting your app should help in most cases, but I think in, in this point in time, it was just, it was quick. Yeah. It was over and quick. But we we still are getting reports every so often here that it's coming back. So I'm hoping, I, I feel bad for the people at uh, Niantic Ops trying to solve this problem with uh, Christmas just right around the corner. And yeah. I imagine they've got a skeleton crew at this point, but uh, hopefully, fingers crossed, they can get it resolved and uh, it calms down a little bit for the rest of the event here. Yeah. Anytime well, you make a change, that happens. Well, I, I mean, believe, you run that risk. I believe they posted to uh, be sure to pick Enlightened Faction before you shut down and close <laughs> the app out. That that's the proper... That's probably the cause of everything. It's too much green. Too much green. Maybe. Maybe. There's be. a lot of green. It's good. Are you green with envy? Oh! <laughs> I'm having a blue Christmas. Didn't you hear... Now the uh, store. I, I just see a line for the store is better. Are we talking store? Yeah, that was a while back that they had some issues with the store. Uh, I can't remember what those issues were, but there were some store issues. Are we talking and, about in the scanner or on in the, the scanner? Website? In the scanner had okay. some store issues, but 
they got that fixed rather quickly as well. So yeah, I think that their response time seems to be pretty good. I mean, it's it's not like you know well, we work for the weekend. We'll come back and see it on Monday. They're they're on top of it. So. So have you we don't tried? need that line. No, it's I think good. we're good. Okay. Yeah, it's good. But we're on the decoding challenge, and I I didn't hear anything from you on this decode challenge. No, I've been working. It was all all this week was work to get ready for being gone for a week, and uh, really all I all I had time to do was download the audio files and put them on a timeline and go. Oh, that's both courage. Cool. Uh, <laughs> and I haven't been able to even get back to it and and do anything further. So. Oh, and sorry if I just gave something away. Spoiler alert! Uh oh, <laughs> that's what we're here for. Right. So, d- did you do it? Have you? Done I it? I played with it. I'm like you. I downloaded it, and it's like oh, and I listened to it and played with it a little bit in a editor, and I'm like, yeah, I got to go to work. <laughs> yeah, I've been too too distracted with work to to really get into the meat and potatoes of the decode yeah. challenge, but I, I want to. So I'm hoping with a little bit of time over the holidays here, I can. Go back and Niantic, if you're listening, I, I hope that you know the challenges stay active and out there at least for a little bit of time. That yeah. way, if people are busier, they need to catch up. Even though you can't place on the scoreboard, it would be nice to be able to you know still redeem those codes, go back and do things at your pace. Especially like me, I'm learning a lot of that for the first time, so yeah, it's gonna gonna be a little bit slower at getting those. It's fun to flex your brain cells with this kind of thing. Yeah. I, I would say that not getting on the first week scoreboard because of the bug that I'm not as, um, I don't know. I don't really feel the, the need to do it as much. <laughs> like that was kind of a little more of a, a boost Kinda, to, to try to stay on feel. Yeah. Get everyone. I still want to do them just cause I like doing the, uh, coding challenges. It's just, I kind of do it in spurts. I don't, I don't do it like every time one's out. You know, uh, I'll just kind of um, when there's a big one out, I'll, I'll work on it some. I'm assuming that somebody's cracked it. Oh, oh I'm sure someone has. Yeah, yeah, no, definitely. Yeah. There's another one on Monday, right? Ooh. Yes, yeah, every working, Monday for. Yeah, working on Monday, so that'll be nice. Yeah, I was trying to find it. I know last time we could find how quickly somebody did it. I haven't seen that yet, but I, I want to say, Oh geez. It, there's a scoreboard pretty quick this time around as well. Was it interpreter 2,422 solvers? Looks like somebody got it in three minutes. Or is that three hours? So last oh, week no. they had something that had it at like zero seconds. So I don't know if there's, something with their counting uh that's off or what but it's Goonie guy he acted that's it i wish because yeah. then i broke it broke it so no one could do it so i was I'm trying just, to find the the page with the so you found it the leaderboard i think i found the leaderboard right. and it looks like top decoder top 1000 decoders but you're right. Yeah, there's somebody that's one decoded with like zero time. Um, so I'd say there's probably something wrong there. But the next one down is like one decoded in four minutes and fifty one seconds. See, and they and this is one thing I thought last week is they they say enter the passcode at intel dot com slash yeah. intel. So it's like um, I knew there was something that said enter it there. So yeah, we'll we'll link to the actual page that has, and this has all the um, different challenges and the people who have solved it. It's just ingress.com slash decoding slash 13 archetypes. Yep. Yeah, one so, came out so on far, the 23rd. So 2,400 solvers for the second one. There were 5,400 for the first one. Yeah. And you're right, it looks like there's one coming out on the 30th. And the one coming out on the 23rd. So Visionary on the 23rd, Skeptic on the 30th. And it's it's every week till March yep. the 2nd. When does the first, well, we'll get to that. 
Um, so decoding challenge, good. Uh, the other challenge right now is the destroy deploy. Destroy. Event, which, destroy. which they've done various uh, versions of this. Who wants to talk about the rules? What are the rules for this one? Nose goes. <laughs> so, last person goes. So, Hold on. I've never I'll... heard that. Nose goes? No, nose, nose goes. goes. Yeah, yeah. You, you just got to last person to get the finger on that nose there, and then you got to do it. <laughs> that's, oh, that geez. sounds weird. Is now, that some now, northern thing? Yeah, it must be. Maybe. I'll jump in. From the 20th to the 30th, uh, it's uh, uh, basically put as many resonators out as you can. Uh, trying to get, was that 30 million? 30 million total. 30 million total by December 30th. Um, so during the event, uh, you get three three times AP for the eighth resonator, which I think ends up being like, what is it, like 825? Um, yep. Something like that. And you can put out two L8s and two L7s. So if you're beefing up that farm or you want to build that farm, now would be the time when you could get it off the ground with just four people instead of eight. Get that L8 out there. Um, and to counterbalance, and this is something I, I really like that they put in there. To counterbalance, they're also giving double AP for resonators destroyed, double AP for links destroyed, and double AP for fields destroyed. Because the last one we were doing building, it really didn't pay off to tear it down. Uh, so now it pays off to tear it down, too. Yeah. And the whole situation with Cassandra Neutralizer, where yeah. it was just, you know, smash everything, but don't don't build. Don't, don't just build, smash. just smash. Just smash. So yeah. I'm very glad that that lesson learned has extended on to this new event. Yeah. Because as somebody, like, I'm going to go out there, and today on my lunch break, I was just microfielding, and I was just playing Ingress normally. So... I know there's all kinds of different strategies for how people approach these events. What I try to do is just play how I would normally play, and if I'm racking up points, generally it's just kind of a nice thing that I'm also getting a badge for doing my, my normal activities. So I was microfielding uh, as I was going and getting the initial tier unlocked, and I hope whoever comes across and, and smashes that is you know encouraged to also build a little bit or at least enjoys the fact that they're getting all that bonus AP. Yeah. As much as people will throw around the term win trading, like it was taken out of the rules for a reason. Ah. <laughs> you heard it here from a Vanguard. said <laughs> <laughs> It's official. Uh, but I've, I've noticed we've had just one or two of our uh, local guys that they waited for recursion and they recursed just before so they could, you know, snap up those points a little bit better. Uh, and get to those lower levels quicker. Uh, so you should have a new metric in your scanner down at the bottom telling you how many you've uh, deployed. And uh, of there's three badges. Uh, what are the badges at? Is it 120 six? for the first tier for bronze, uh -huh. 600 for the silver tier, and then 1440. Not yeah. 1331. What? what? 1440 for the third gold tier badge. You got to wonder... How they come up with the numbers? Random generator. Okay. Go with it. I was pretty glad for a chance to use up some plus bonds because they had just been sitting in my inventory gathering dust. Yeah. Yeah. I, I mean, it will definitely run down through through your inventory inventory pretty quick. And for somebody goony who runs out of resonators anyway, I'm sure he's going to run out of them quicker than anybody else. Yeah. Um, you got a glyph hack. What are you, what are you doing, glyph hack? A new glyph hack. Nah, not if you're, like, what are you hacking? What are you hacking? Sixes, fives? I wish I had a bunch of portals like that around here, but pretty much fives is the highest we got. Or you can get out there today and you can build your own six. Yeah. If, That's true. I'll tell you what's up. Something you might consider that, that we've done in the past is if you can find a ghost town, you find some place that has a bunch of portals that nobody ever goes to, um, I, it kills you to do this, but it works. Go through and just load it up with ones and twos, especially ones. And then if it's big enough track, you just go around just getting ones, getting ones, getting ones. And a big enough track so that, you know, by the time you get to the last one, it's fresh and ready to go. And then, then you can build it up a little bit. But, uh, because it doesn't matter really what level those resonators are that you're putting on that 
portal. Uh, you, you know, you want to get the first one, and you definitely want to get the last one. Uh, now, isn't there something about upgrades as well? Yeah, upgrading someone else's resonators counts, but upgrading your own does not. Right. So I tried to deploy mine with low-level resonators in case anyone else comes along. And yeah, if you want to be nice to your friends, put it all at one. If you want to be mean, so now the take question it I, again. I have is uh, like leapfrogging, like so. If I fill them all up and then you fill them all up, if I come back around and now fill them all up that you're on them all... Oh, you would ask that question. Does that I count th- now? I think the answer is no, it doesn't count. But I I don't know. Some sure somebody out, right? Y'all should be able yeah. to figure it out right now on your portal. Somebody <laughs> out there do that. Let us know. <laughs> but I, I would... Hold my on. gut would tell me no, but I can't say for sure. No, this. I'm sorry. There's only seven and eight resonators on this portal. I can't do anything. <laughs> okay, uh, uh, no. destroy it. Flip it. We destroy it. it. Let's start Wait. over. No, do I have an upgrade available? Ooh, I do. I think. Wait, what do you have right now? Before, before you upgrade it. No, I can put another eight. I'm at one one fifty six right now. Okay. So I don't know. Let me try upgrading. Let's see if this this does it. This is called a field test. Are you upgrading your own though? Now I'm upgrading okay. one of. You got it. Here. 57. So, but were you on that resonator originally? And that's the thing. I don't she know has to update are. now to know. Yeah. Tomorrow. Okay. Well, we'll, we'll figure it out and we'll let you know. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure someone's figured it out already. And there is a payoff. Uh, if we hit the 30 million, um, it'll keep going through January 6th, uh, 1800 UTC. They'll keep the triple uh, AP for the eighth resonator, um, and it's also I think there's a first Saturday bundle. Uh, Fifty L ones will be available to purchase during that first Saturday, which would be I think that's the fourth. Um, but I don't I don't see what I usually see on this is I don't see a downside. There is actually a Umbra deploy bundle that is available in the store right now. So. Okay. They did add that in. It looks like it is for 150 L ones. So Ooh, that doesn't look like it's a bad deal if you're oh. in the market to just kind of get a ton of resonators. Personally, myself, my strategy is typically I carry a lot of higher level resos, and then I'll glyph hack at a low level, and then fill out the portal with the remaining resonators. But hey, whatever works for you, go out there, yep. deploy, have fun. Yep, and if you haven't used a bunch too. of passcodes, you both. can visit Agent Academy. We have a passcode page. You can get some resonators and other gear there. Burn them up. Yeah, there's a ton of passcodes. Yeah. And if you if you break it down, it's actually a uh, it seems easier to get the gold badge on this challenge than some of the other challenges there have been in the past. Um, so if you have to get fourteen forty for the gold badge, that's to pull you out one hundred and eighty unique portals. If you say there's 10 days in the challenge, you can do 18 portals a day. Uh, the trick is unique portals, which is um, easier or harder depending on where you live. Yeah. that's It's another one of those, and we've talked about this before, it's it's one of those, it's, it's probably an easy challenge for somebody that's in a metro area, but somebody that's in a rural area like me, you know, I just happened to be lucky enough that I was, what, 40 miles away, but uh, an older city that has a whole bunch of portals that nobody plays at. So I got to, I got to start on those. Just flip eighteen portals every day. <laughs> Redeploy. Yeah. Just why don't you email me the uh, uh, flip cards to do that, and I'll just go that route. Just just mail me your phone. Wait, let me see if uh, you got the, you got the card oh, there. No, he didn't it, send any flips. No, he, he didn't put any flip cards in. No, but I have Not some Lawsons. Those aren't available oh. anymore. Speaking of Lawson's, Devane, didn't you say there was something unique about Lawson's and uh, Hypercubes today? Yeah, so I, I think, I don't know if there was actually any truth to this because it was a screenshot that somebody posted, so they could have could have doctored it. But I'll, I'll, I'll err on the side of positive intention here that that agent reported it. But um, it appears that there were some instances where people were hacking Lawson power cubes today. So they had hypercubes in their inventory, but they were also getting Lawsons from portals. So your mileage may vary, but uh, I believe Niantic is working on a fix for that if they haven't figured it out already. And it is a sad, sad day because Lawsons and Circle Ks are gone. 
I hacked the hypercube today. I don't know the screenshot, but I hacked the hypercube. Did it say hypercube or hypercube? Did say, yes. It did actually. It didn't say unknown. It said hypercube. Yep. I wonder if it's just a like a file cache thing on people's phones, and it's just like they overwrote the files and just oh, just make it the same name, but your phone's still going to call the same file. And well, something and I did notice is that um, I popped my final Circle K before they made that change, and then rest I. In peace. I didn't play much, so the Circle K was still on my, my bar. So when I would log in in the following days, I'd hear Ada say, Circle K activated. <laughs> <laughs> nice. And then you do. just never play again. You just sit there and let the Circle K sit forever. I used my last one up Sunday just in case. I, I was like, I got to get the last of my Spicy XM. So, you know, popped, popped that Circle K. Recharged a couple of portals, and they're they're burning brightly today. Yep. And then, if that wasn't the event of the year, the yep, events of next year have been announced. We talked about that last year a little, or last week a little bit. But now they've released the actual um, places, cities and stuff they're going to be happening at. These are for... The Hexathlons and Hexathlon. and the Anomaly, which is will be in Germany. Now, is there only going to be one Anomaly? So, the Hexathlons, which would have been, I guess, the Anomaly Anomalies Light. originally, um, and then the Anomaly. So, I think the Hexathlons will somehow play a part in the whole story. And and this is just kind of reading between the lines and a little bit of what like Brian has said that there will be a way to basically get the badge for the anomaly through those I believe right am I reading all that right? So I know he has mentioned the the flashpoint quote unquote events that we might end up with uh, where they, those almost sound like they're going to be somewhere in between a, a hexathlon or an anomaly. So I don't think we have enough information yet to tell which direction that's going to go, but it does sound like maybe some of the hexathlons will have something a little more. Maybe the flashpoints will be a completely new category that we get at a later time. Um, but it does sound like, you know, for the first half of the year, it, it's pretty much go to a hexathlon if, if you're close enough and go for the big party in Germany where everybody's going to be going. So I think he was mentioning as a way for people to that are, are off-site to participate more than what they had in, in the anomalies of the past year or two. Because, I mean, if you're off-site, I mean, you were doing a recharge room, or maybe you you had some keys. Hi, Kitty. Um, you had some keys that you you moved. but So it sounds like they're going to allow, I don't know, to play more of a role, like you said. So yeah. when I was trying to find uh, the info about the flashpoints. Um, was that in the first announcement? Uh, I want to say that was a tweet, maybe. It, or was, it was in Brian's blog when people yep. were that's right. Uh, that's right. Talking on the forums about wanting more anomalies, so we posted a little about them. Um, Back on the fourteenth. Yeah. And we have that posted on the Agent Academy website, so I can go there and click on the link. Mm -hmm. you so can look at that. And I guess that's what I'm wondering is. Was he saying flashpoints and like I'm trying to figure out if those are actually separate from the hexathlons? Like, do we know that for sure? And that's that's kind of my speculation as well. It it, it almost sounds like they're setting it up to be a third category, but maybe it's something that could occur during a hexathlon. Maybe it's something that occurs ahead of an anomaly but isn't a hexathlon it's it's really hard to say at this point but it sounds like maybe we'll get some more information soon is what i'm hoping anyway i it almost sounds like what they were testing in la for the first saturday there yeah. in december was related to what they're doing with the flashpoints oh and it does say in this blog in parentheses right after he mentions flashpoints a new scalable competitive event format Separate from separate the hexathlon, hexathlon. so um, that's good. I totally missed that part. So that's good. So you think the hexathlons will have nothing to do with the anomaly, but the flashpoints 
will have something to do with Anomaly. That's just my speculation. I, I feel like the flashpoints because no, I think that makes before, sense. Or like you know, anomalies are a decision point. So it's it's kind of a point in time where something occurs in history. So the factions are fighting over control of that measurement, that decision point. So the flashpoints almost sound like they're almost like these mini anomalies. So maybe we can influence a character's alignment or. I don't know, something Something else might occur during that window of time that impacts the larger anomaly, and we just don't know it yet. Do you think it's going to be something where they announce ahead of time, like months where people go, or do you think it'll be more like very regional and all over the place? And that's, I'm almost hoping it's more of a, almost like a regional cell for anybody that was here during that period of time where anomalies had connected cells where different cells throughout the world would be chosen as uh, needing to get certain levels of fields on the board for, for MU control during certain checkpoints, and then that would filter into the anomaly scoring in some meaningful way. Um, so I'm almost expecting that sort of thing, or the fact that maybe we just get a lot of ornaments worldwide and agents can just go out. So. I'd really hope for more accessibility, that more agents can go out and participate if that is the intention for the flashpoints. But it might end up being something where, you know, oh, you've got 30 cities or 15 cities or random places, hopefully maybe some more rural locations in there uh, to keep things interesting. Um, yeah, looking forward to it either way. Shards. 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 that? Well, it'll be interesting to see what happens. Uh, maybe we can get Andrew on the show after he's no longer at Niantic, and maybe he can... Do you think they're like making him sign a bunch of NDAs at this point? I personally think it'd be great to have like one last AMA. Like, I am a former Niantic com global community manager. Ask me anything. Um, I don't yeah. think he'd ever do that, but that would be really interesting. I think that'd be awesome. No, well, I, I, yeah, keep, yeah, keep pushing. That. I tell you, I when he when he jumps in, it's just it's a feeding frenzy. Just people, just post, 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 post. We need the lasagna recipe. I feel like at this point, <laughs> if Andrew's going to leave us, the we last that thing that he should do as a global community manager is give yeah. us that lasagna recipe. He's like, I'm not dying. Yeah. Like, oh, yes, lasagna recipe media. That would be great. Right. All right, I'm going to message you Vince team right now. That's, that's awesome. Lasagna in a red cup. Hey, tell them about the Agent Academy uh, media drop, too, yeah. while you're in there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah, no, lasagna. That, that seems like that should be a shirt, too. Lasagna shirt. Um, Ingress also posted a, a thing about, I guess it was just in the community, about a look back at 2019, stuff from that. Go look at it. We'll, we'll put this in the show notes. <laughs> uh, there's also the 2.38.3 update to Angras, which will have the uh, new avatars as well as Hypercubes uh, taking over for Lawson's and Circle which, K. So that's I think that's happened. out because I, I did get the avatars. Yeah. Toast. Yep. And then also they had a... Uh, I don't know if y'all read the latest blog on Wayfarer. It, no. It's uh, very interesting about uh, just a bunch of stats about uh, portals and stuff. So that's definitely a good read as well as um, one thing I noticed. So I actually I've submitted a couple portals um, today, actually. <laughs> um, and I was looking in Wayfair and I noticed some of the portals they show in there that are accepted that um, they most definitely are not portals right now. And so I went back and checked the, the emails. Like, well, I know those got rejected. Why are they saying accepted? And I looked, and it it was because they, they would say, this is a great candidate, but it cannot be a portal because it's too close to another portal. So apparently those still show up as accepted in Wayfair. I wonder if there's other categories where you get those notices that show up like that as well. I've also seen where, uh, so let's say that you submit a portal, someone else submits the same candidate, and then it goes live, but not 
from your photo, sometimes your photo will get added to the portal right away. And I imagine that would come back as saying accepted, but in that case, you're not getting a portal key, you're just getting the photo. That would be interesting. Is that is that one that's happened to you? I, I've gotten a few that way. I, I feel like it really depends on timing and I guess depending on what the photo is like, different people voting in Wayfair, um, that can kind of determine who gets the portal, I guess. Like timing is everything, I assume. Whoever is first into the voting queue is probably going to be the agent that gets the name on it. We should have, like, uh, break a record. So we get as many eight, maybe at the next anomaly. We, maybe not, because I can't make it to Germany. But, well, I guess <laughs> everybody else could do it. And just show me a picture. But we get the most agents to submit the exact same portal at the exact same time. Would that be weird? Well, if you re- if you really want a whole bunch of them, get get the Pokemon players to do it. I have a feeling we're outnumbered. Will we kill? <laughs> so we kill their servers? Like, I just imagine their system being like, I don't know what to do. <laughs> like the computer would start screaming at a programmer. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> Oof. No, maybe that's just me. <laughs> yeah, it's just you. <laughs> Oh well, um, there's a lot of things that are just you. So, uh, social, social impact. impact? <laughs> yeah, tell me about it. <laughs> Moving on. Um, yeah, they had they had the social impact report was out. They put it out the 11th, um, and they talked about some of the things that the community is doing, and they're engaging with the the real community, uh, and the real world around them. Um, so they talked about the Earth Day campaign in April, um, and the local education program in Harlem. So, not only having fun, but uh, doing something to help out our real-world communities at the same time. So, uh, they said they're excited and enthusiastic about what's to come in 2020. So, uh, looks like they had 90,000-plus players participating in local community events and 40,000 hours and 16.3 billion kilometers walked. Wow, that's a bunch. And that's and that's counted kilometers. We know counted, how yeah. the, the scanners do. So it's probably <laughs> double or triple that if you think about it. Right? Yeah, yeah that's, that's, that's a little uh, PTSD from the field test. It's okay. We'll, we'll get that fit. <laughs> that's, a, that's, a that's a new goal for a, for a field test. Check her better this time. <laughs> or it would be funny is if you went and the like the person who was like writing this up already doubled or tripled it because they're like, oh, we know the scanner doesn't actually count them all. So just double that number. Had the numbers a little bit. It's okay. <laughs> okay. So, um, first Saturday, the next one is uh, January 4th. And if you're anywhere near uh, Dewey yeah. J's Town, go there. Yeah. There may be some swag from the Agent Academy. Yeah. I have a feeling there might be some brandy or other things to keep you warm because I have a feeling it's going to be cold. Oh. But it's, it's always a challenge to see if you can warm up your uh, phone enough so that you can actually hit the button and, and hack. But, yeah, I don't know. We're, we're, it's a, it's a first one for us, uh, but we're going to try to have a couple of, uh, I think we've got one 18 banner, and I think we're going to try to get another six banner out there. Who knows? Maybe I'll put out a Agent Academy uh, mission. Yeah, with, do with it. A badge. Yeah. I have right. one started. How far are you away from me? Where, where? Um, about a quarter of the country. Uh, so that's, <laughs> what, about six hours? Just teleport. No, no, it's it, no, it's 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 probably closer to. It's probably close to four. They didn't tell you about the recursion perks. You can teleport now. Oh, you can oh. teleport. They didn't tell me about that <laughs> recursion perk. Yeah. You, it's, it's an <laughs> RPE right after event. A long drive. <laughs> like, it's RPE only. So show up. <laughs> well, you still have to throw the link to your destination, so that might be a little difficult. Yeah. As long as you can get that link there, you're good. Yeah, bring me a key. I'll, I'll drop some keys when I drive by. Sounds like a plan. Yeah, and it, 12 hours to pick them up. And it, it, this feels like this is just the episode of events, which is good. A lot of events happening. And mm-hmm. and speaking of Mission Day, it C2 was announced. Woo! That's awesome. It's um, uh, it, the first one it looked like people had an amazing time. And this one is going to be... A seven-day cruise 
uh, from November 15th to the 22nd in uh, 2020. And this will be from San Juan, Puerto Rico. Um, also, uh, well, Royal Aruba, St. Martin. Oh, you're getting all the dates. Go for it. No, I was just looking at the cities. I'm like, hey, this this looks good. Yeah. So who's going? Are you are you going, Goonie guy? Seven days would be hard for me to do. If I can talk my wife into doing it, maybe just because um, then we could spend some like time together too. But seven days away from like the family, like I definitely can't take the whole family. It's just um, so I don't know. I would love to go. Are you going? I would love to go. Same. Yeah. I mean, I hope I can make it. Yeah, definitely. Definitely thinking about it. Uh, I know Ooh. for anybody that isn't in the chat, uh, there is a, you know, ingress at sea is what I believe the, the official chat name is until Niantic would sanction it again. Uh, which at that point, I think it would take on the Mission Day at Sea 2 title, like uh, Electric Boogaloo. Uh, <laughs> but I believe some of the discounted rates are ending at the end of the year. So if you yeah. are looking at getting in and saving a little bit of coin, that way you have some more for the adventure, uh, I believe the cutoff for the discounted rate is December 31st. So Yeah, that's what I'm saying here. Fast. Um, but no, maybe, I, I think, hopefully, Niantic is going to maybe sanction again. That would be nice. Um, that's just my own personal wish. I, I'm hoping that they yeah. decide to pick that up, because it sounded like everybody had a blast. Um, maybe Hank Johnson was on that boat somewhere as courier. We don't know yet, but maybe we can get uh, you know, both Hanks on board, so we can have a little double Johnson. Uh, while we got Mission Day at Sea 2... Double Johnson. <laughs> yes. Yeah. And, and I don't know, like, I don't know why they wouldn't, like, endorse it. Like, did it really, did it, did they have to spend much time with anything about it? I mean, it sounded like um, they didn't really have to do much, right? They got the tech working and. Yeah, I, I think it really just comes down to all the extracurricular stuff that they were planning for the first mission day at C2 that was kind of a last minute add on, um, you know, players had organized that Deo Steph, uh, as you know, POC just self organizing, getting that together. And then I know after they approached Niantic, there was some discussion of, okay, let's try to make this a little bit more official, get a badge out there, get some other fun things for the agents and also the sojourner support. So agents that were at C didn't lose their sojourner streaks. Yeah. All right. All that good stuff. And it doesn't look like it's overly expensive either. No, I so. think um I it's think like, it's like uh one of bucks. the interior rooms you could do for like under seven hundred dollars, I think, for the full yeah. week, right? I don't know. I haven't got that far along. So uh unless that was just the the uh whatchamacallit, the um the money you got to put down for it, but I think that would be just a percentage of that. And they they have deals with this company where you can actually uh, finance the vacation and make twelve payments, things like that. So uh, there's definitely ways to afford it. I think if if yeah. it's something you want to do. So um, yeah, it looks like the low end six hundred. <laughs> I don't know if I like this price. Six hundred and sixty-six dollars. Ooh, <laughs> and seventy-one cents. Nemesis. Nemesis. In hell. <laughs> yeah, so that might be a room from hell. Uh, you can move up a little bit for six eighty-six. <laughs> that, well, well, so my wife and I went on a cruise for our honeymoon, and the funny thing is, like talking about her being sick, I was sick as a dog when we got there, um, but. We had a, one of these interior rooms, and they're, you know, they're fairly small, but you're never there. <laughs> like, you're always <laughs> out doing other stuff, and you just go there and crash. So, I would say if, like, the price is an issue at all, like, go for the interior room. Don't worry about, you know, the other rooms. Yeah. Um, But they may fill up quickly, too. So, uh, get there, and, um, I mean, you're talking under $700. That's under $100 a, a day. But you couldn't even get a hotel anywhere for that. And you, that's mm -hmm. like you get all the food. Um, 
that you can eat for the week. That's uh, luxurious bathrobes. Get those. Yes. Um, so it's a great deal, and it's going to be a lot of fun. Um, I would love to go. So uh, see if we have that kind of money in our budget. I'm sure that our <laughs> academy. We Asian can, Academy budget could probably spring for that. Right, right. We could write it off. We'll just write it off. Well, we will have to bring down the website, though. Okay. That's that's where the money goes every month. So That's true. Got to pay that with that web monkey. Web monkey. Code monkey. Mm-hmm. Code monkey. Mm-hmm. That's a good Speaking song. Speaking of codes. You, you like that song, Code Monkey? Anybody? Anybody know that one? Code Monkey like Doritos? Tab and Mountain Dew? Oh, yeah. yeah I was thinking okay. of Trunk Monkeys, but that's a whole series oh, of commercials. No. <laughs> so if, if you ever have time, look up the Trunk Monkey commercials. They're, they're, they're good. <laughs> if you don't know it, go look up Jonathan Jonathan Colton and uh, Code Monkey. Good song. Anyway, code for this week. Um, it is just AAXMS19AA. So XMA S. 19. With Go Jim. Two Go A's on each side. Go JBJ. I've got I got fake JBJ Blaze probably has it done already. And it's a special it's a it's a different one this week. So when when it pops up, it'll be a fun one hopefully for the holidays. And we appreciate uh everybody watching the show tonight and I hope you enjoy your new academy points. Rack up all those points. Just you know, keep listening on on repeat. Get all those points. I don't know if it works that way, but it probably doesn't. Let us know. It may. It it may. And officially, JBJ Blaze has it. Nice. And thank you so much, Lady Anthrax, for uh, yes. joining yeah. the show tonight. Thank you for having me. It was an honor and a privilege. And Vane. And Dewey J. Yeah. It's been a wonderful year. It has been. We might have to do it next year. That sounds like an idea. Let's do it. Are we going to have a New Year's show? NYE. Yeah, we'll probably do some kind of New Year's show, right? From the field. (laughs) From the field. I will say next week, I don't know if we'll do a show next week or not. We'll we'll, uh, let people know in Telegram or on Twitter or things like that uh, when the next show will be. We'll figure it out. Uh, but that's all I got. That's all we need. Okay. Well, then let's call it. And uh, everybody have a, a great holiday, great Christmas, great mm-hmm. uh, whatever, great New Year if we don't see you before then. And go out there and get your deploys and then destroys and more deploys and then more destroys. You know, yeah. Deploy all the things. <laughs> Back the portal. Funny. And if it links, it goes. No, no, wait a minute. No. If it shows, if it shows, it goes. If it shows, it throws. Oh, God. We know somebody like that. What? (laughs) Well, we've been talking. (laughs) You were that way. That's right. It was. Anyway, see y'all next week. Happy holidays, everybody. Happy holidays. Bye bye.